Good evening and happy holidays. Welcome to a very festive episode of Experience Bar, where we're turning video games into cocktails. My name is Jack and I'll be your bartender for this evening as I show you how to make the merriest drink that comes, but once a year, Wintervale Eggnog from World of Warcraft. Let's get started. <laughs> Wintervale, once a year event, World of Warcraft, a Christmas analogue that comes around about the start of December and lasts until the new year. At least when I was still playing World of Warcraft, that's what happened. Very exciting time, lots of new stuff, lots of new decorations, lots of new activities, and crafting recipes, of course. Even the often forgotten cooking experts got a few extra recipes around uh, winter veil time, where you got gingerbread cookies, you got hot apple cider, hot spiced cider, one of those two, uh, and most importantly, an eggnog recipe, the winter veil eggnog recipe, which in game very very simple, uh, which makes it quite different from other most other uh, modern eggnog recipes. Now, don't get me wrong, stuff like Alton Brown's eggnog recipe that uh, says you can age it for a year, so you make it previous year. Those sound really nice, but ugh, they sound like a lot of work as well. And if there's one thing we are here at Experience Bar, it is lazy and unprepared. So we're going to be stinking, uh, stinking, we're going to be stinking. <laughs> we are going to be sticking with the nice, simple, regular recipe with only four to six ingredients. To begin with, you are going to need a shaker filled with ice. Yeah, ringing was nice, I like that. We should do that more often. Uh, and we're going to start off with our base ingredient and the first of the in-game uh, recipe ingredients, which is holiday spirits. It doesn't actually tell you what those are specifically, but judging from other eggnog recipes around the world, it can be a bunch of different things. Mostly brown spirits like spiced rum, bourbon, brandy. Uh, I have seen a couple of uh, tequila-based eggnog recipes, but I'm not going to mess around with that because they sound really complicated. Uh, so we're going to be using holiday spirits in the form of spiced rum, Captain Morgan's, nice and simple. Two ounces of that. Next up, we have got the ice cold milk, which we have actually swapped out for cream in this case because we're going to be shaking it and we don't want to over dilute it by only using milk. One ounce of cream. Next, we've got the third of the ingredients, which is of course, an egg. You cannot have eggnog without an egg. You're going to crack the whole thing and chuck it all in. Not the shell, you maniac. Just the yolk and the white. And at this point, you have got the standard recipe that you can shake together and then add your holiday spices afterwards. But to be honest, it doesn't taste great that way. So we're going to be adding uh, a couple of extra ingredients. First of all, half an ounce of simple syrup for a little bit of sweetness and half an ounce of vanilla liqueur. Now, I was actually originally going to add this as a joke as kind of like, ha ha, Winterville came out in vanilla and I played mostly in vanilla. So let's add some vanilla to our drink. Meh, meh. But honestly, it actually, it, it doesn't need the gimmick. It makes the drink real damn good. So half an ounce of that. It is optional though. So if you want to keep it classic, don't worry about it. Right, and those who are keeping score at home will know that we are missing one of our ingredients, but we're going to add that later. But first we're going to shake this. With egg and cream drinks, uh, they have a habit of exploding, especially on this show. So make sure that you have your shaker very nicely on there, give it a good old tap, and give it a bloody good shake. Oh, by the way, this shaker was donated to us by a fan. Cool, right? It's actually really good. And uh, if it explodes on me, it's their fault, so. Right, so at this point, um, you have shaken it, you've diluted it, and you've chilled it. But there's still one last um, step to kind of finish the shake of the drink. We're gonna do a dry shake which means shaking without ice. It's gonna fluff up our drink, make it nice and thick, and emulsify those eggs, essentially. So, but first we've got to strain out our drink. Back into here. Lovely. And, excuse me one minute. <laughs> you can cut that bit. <laughs> and we're going to um, get rid of the ice. I mean, this is, this is what's called a dry bar rather than a wet bar. It means we don't have a sink, which is a pain in the ass. So we have to do nonsensical things like this. We're now gonna give it, oh, hold on. <laughs> you thought you could escape. Make sure you check the bottom of your 
metal side to make sure there's no ice sticking to the bottom because you do not want to di over dilute this. Now then, I'm gonna give it our second shake. Now again, this has no ice in it and ice is what causes the seal on a um, shaker. So if you're using a Boston shaker like this, make sure it is like side on, not like this, but straight on. Some people shake like this. Do not do that with this drink. It will explode on your face. Lovely. And because we shake, well, we pre-shaked it with ice, it's still cold enough to form that seal. Some people do the dry shake first. If you're going to do that, um, just be very, very careful. If you're using a cobbler shaker, the ones that are like, have the built-in strainer, take the top off every so often. So shake it and then take the top off to let the gas out and then put it back on and finish your shake. It's far less likely to get all over your table if you do it that way. And we're gonna strain it. Well, actually, we're not gonna strain it because you don't need to. There's nothing in here that needs straining out. We're just gonna pour it on in carefully to our vessel. This is called a flip glass, by the way. If you're ever wondering, you want a little bit of that egg. Right, so we've got one last ingredient to add, which is the fourth and final of the in-game recipe, the holiday spices. Much like the holiday spirits, doesn't say what it is, but you and I both know it's gonna be either nutmeg or cinnamon. <laughs> um, most of the time, these kinds of drinks have nutmeg on them, so we're gonna be adding nutmeg. You can use cinnamon as well, uh, or instead of, if you want, but personally, I like it with nutmeg. And there you have it. <laughs> the Wintervale eggnog from World of Warcraft. Here's to all our supporters on Patreon who make these drinks happen. Cheers. Ooh, I'm shaking a lot. Oh, it, it goes onto my moustache. That's the problem. It's the problem with eggnogs. It goes onto me little moustache. So, Wintervale has always been like a really important thing to me. Right, uh, it should probably give you a bit of context. Um, I was playing World of Warcraft like when I was a very young teenager, before it came out. If you pre-ordered it, you would get access to the final beta, uh, and I played that really hard. Uh, in fact, I got in so early, I was the first one on the server to secure the name of Darkblade. Yeah, um, I know, it's really lame, but I was like 12 at the time, so please be a little bit forgiving. So Wintervale was really important because it was the first time I'd seen a game world completely change for an event. You know, it, it's pretty normal now. It's pretty almost uh, weird for you not to have a Christmas event in a game, especially a multiplayer one. But back then it felt incredible that you'd have this big community coming around all these new activities and quests and crafting recipes, all this sort of stuff. So when I thought about doing a Christmas drink for Experience Bar, I knew I had to return to Wintervale and recreate the eggnog in real life. As an eggnog, it's a very basic nog, right? It's very simple, it's very easy, it's designed that you probably already have the ingredients on hand at Christmas, so if you only want one or two servings, or maybe you and your partner want one, or you, you just don't wanna to have to go through the rigmarole of creating a huge batch of the stuff, this is a good second option. As a drink, it's very, uh, it's very refreshing. It's weird to call an eggnog refreshing, but because we're shaking it, um, it's diluted a bit, so it's perfect for New Zealand Christmases, which are very hot. Um, and it's also a, a lot less filling. It's still got cream in there, so you're probably not gonna want to have it until after Christmas dinner, but it's very enjoyable. Kind of just sit on the, sit on the deck, have a little sip with your friends, uh, maybe the uh, one other weirdo that likes raw eggs in their drink. Speaking of, if you feel a bit weird about having raw eggs in your drink, I understand that, but there really isn't any alternative to it. There are some alternate recipes for eggnogs out there that don't have egg in them, but they are a separate drink entirely and don't really taste the same. So keep that in mind. They're still very nice. They are still extremely good, but they're not gonna be the same. But yeah, that's about it. It's nice, it's spicy, it's got a bit of sweetness to it. It's got a nice little bit of richness, not as much as others. Uh, if you're looking for that, go check out Elton Brown's recipe. It's very, very good, though it does take a little while. That's it from us. That is the Wintervale Eggnog from Experience Bar. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself as much as I have and have been having a wonderful holiday so far. If you like what we're doing here, please do give us a like and subscribe. We've got Discord, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook. Anywhere there's a community, we are there. So. Come and join us. 
Um, we've also got a Patreon set up, so if you want to see us keep doing these videos, um, please head on over there and consider checking us a couple dollars a month. You do get some pretty cool stuff if you do, including a D&D recipe book and a Witcher recipe book on the way as well. Um, we're creating new content every two weeks, so I hope to see you then. But until then, Merry Christmas and cheers.